It is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, means public order, and we're going to start with a roll call uh, for introductions to the clerk. Let's start with Mr. Heater. Lance Heater, Town Clerk. Clark Heller. Lane Hibbert. Trudy Whitaker, Planning Board. Dick Fulmer, Planning Board. Jeff Davis, Planning Board. Kathy Rooney, Planning Board. Scott Whitaker, Town Manager. Brad Rents, Town Planner. No, everybody knew that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, consent agenda and the minutes. Uh, have y'all had a chance to look through those? Yep. Is there any discussions or corrections or comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes and the agenda. I make a motion to approve the minutes and the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Under 
Hi, I'm Dr. Cairns. I really want to draw the central road focus area for our comprehensive plan. This is not a provision as a comp plan that we talk about too much, so that's why I thought it's important to highlight. Um, you'll see in here in bold that a fire station, elementary school, community, park, daycare center, these are all uses that are desired in this, <coughs> this area. Um, so it's very desirable, according to the comprehensive plan, to keep the fire station here and keep it very centrally located along the Summerfield Road. So I would assume that would be all fire related uses. So it would be undesirable to have this use maybe go somewhere else. It's very desirable to have it all centralized at its own location. Did you know that the Summerfield Road focus area study was accepted by the council and never adopted? I knew that. Oh, okay. He might <laughs> <laughs> So, Scott, if you want to go to the use table, or the, um, what's going to be on the table? Yeah, that's exactly good. So, currently, as I mentioned, the property is zoned RS30. Residentially zoned lots in our town have a maximum built upon area, or BUA, of 30% of the lot. Really what that means is that 30% of the lot as a maximum can be covered in impervious surface, which would be buildings, covered porches, um, concrete, asphalt, impervious surfaces like that. Um, the L uh, O and I district, on the next page down is not. On the left there, under the maximum yielding height, you can see that the maximum built upon area is actually in length. So it, it follows different standards in the residential lot mode. Not saying that 100% you know, of this lot could be covered in impervious surface, but it just gives a lot more leeway, and this use fits a bit more than RS30 would. So I just want to call your attention to that part of the work this year. And Mr. Chair, that concludes my staff.
I just want to know if this is the place to bring in um, the trail, a trail easement, because the uh, A and Y, the Atlantic and Yakin Railway, Railroad Trail, will be coming through up through Summerfield Road. And on that side, um, you know where the fire station is. But um, at this point, I don't quite know, no one knows yet, yet exactly where it would cross over. I think it's going to be crossing over to the other side, kind of in front of your, your um, building area, your buildings. Okay. I can pull up that overlay. If you keep talking, I'll have that in a minute or so. But um, it's in the planning stages now, of course. And, and uh, we're getting ease the trail and open space and we're trying to get easements and all of that kind of thing. We wanted to have some flexibility to um, to have a trail easement on you know on your property. I don't know if I will be able to answer that question from the mm -hmm. standpoint of that's maybe my board of directors. Okay. Um, from that standpoint, it's something I'll be more than happy to go back and, and talk to them about mm -hmm. on, on that side of it. Um, I personally do not have an issue with it. Um, I think I'll probably have some board members that may with that issue because they're afraid we're going to run over some people, but I, I feel like we're not going to be um, having an issue from that standpoint of it whatsoever. So um, I'll just Put you up there on the screen. I wouldn't, but I hadn't thought to put this up there. But the way this was designed was it comes up here, following my mouse there, goes around this pole, so it goes in close, real close to your pavement there, Chief. Have you ever seen this part? No, I have not seen it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Oh, this is so good shit. What do you think? Of that? I mean, it goes through your office. Yeah, yeah. There's a park bench in your office. Yeah. yeah. It, it, skips, <laughs> it goes inward of your sign, seriously, the rest of the time, and then goes across and then fans back out to the road edge like that. Um, and then, of course, it crosses up here at, um, near the school. But, um, yeah, there's your, there's your design layout. Now, not that that didn't be a change, but that's what our engineers have come up with over the years. So, do you know, Scott, uh, the road easement, how far that goes into their property, do you know exactly where it might be? The, it wouldn't go that far, right? I wouldn't think. It shouldn't go that far. It should be about 30 or 50 feet. 50 feet, feet. Yeah. Yeah. Or center? Yeah, yeah that, that's farther there. So, if, if there became an issue uh, in having it where it's currently, you know, just a lot of notice what you're currently thinking about. Uh, if that became an issue, uh, the, the town always had the option of citing it in the, uh, the uh, right away, right? The easement right away? It, it could. I, I think the reason they designed it this way was just with the utilities that you got the monument sign for the fire station there, um, and you've got that, that utility pole, and that, I think they were. Um, you know, just trying to bring it in to avoid those areas and, and minimize that impact. Okay. <coughs> How many people are walking up, up and down in front of the fire station on Founders Day? Lots of them? Lots of that day, yes. On oh. those days. Uh, not speaking of this fire station, but on Lake Branch, there's a station on Lake Branch. When my knees came out, we ran by all the time and threw their lot like that. They also allowed us to come in and get water for the first year. Thanks, Chris. But, but I don't know the problem they we, we have a lot of times bike, bike riders stop in there and use our facilities and get a drink of water. And we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't personally don't have a problem because we, me and my assistant chief, to my back has up. We would run up Summerfield Road and um, do a lot of different things um, on that standpoint. So we, we know the dangers of Summerfield Road without it being shut down for like Founders Day and everything. It's, it's pretty tight through there. 
talking about the informational meeting. There's nothing in here. You can just do it, you know, 24 hours in advance. If that isn't fair, that isn't fair to the applicant. It's not fair to the people in the town. Um, it, the, all the language in here talks about how you're trying to bring people together. So, put some standards in place and then make it easier, I think, for the manager to especially all the two weeks because you get address corrections because they're working on an incorrect list. I don't know how many they get back in the mail, but, and they mail something out and say, well, we know it'll be there in two days. Um, they've done things so today with this little stuff. So, no, it was done with that. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else who wants to speak publicly? With that, the public hearing is closed at 7.20. And I'll open the, uh, the meeting for comments from the board or action from the board. I'll make a comment and an action. Okay. So first comment is thank you. We appreciate what you and your fire department do. We have some of feel we appreciate it. Thank you again. With that being said, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll use your verb that you were nice enough to write it down. I move the case RZ0222 be recommended to the county council for approval. The conditions proposed by the applicant, the request is consistent with the town's adopted comprehensive plan. And for me, I just look at it as limited commercial development, summer code focus area, local government. I mean, you can almost add transportation improvement to some extent, but anyway, those pick whatever you want. Those are the four that I do. And it's reasonable in the public interest because obviously we need a good fire department, we need to be able to work. And it's I think that's justified. So, in the public interest, maintains and promotes public health, safety, and general welfare. As I stated before, because we have a great fire department, it's got to do a great job, and they deserve to have a great place to fix their equipment. Is there a second? Second. Wait a minute. Yeah, I want to have an friendly amendment. Yes, ma'am. Um, you have a second before you get a friendly amendment? No, you can do it. <laughs> um, I wanted to put in with the addition of a mutually agreed trail easement. The town of Summerfield. I'm not sure if we can do that because it's not a conditional zoning. That is. is that correct? It is conditional zoning, but Mr. Johnson would have to an applicant would have to agree to it, and I think you just stated yeah, you didn't okay. feel like you had the authority without your board of directors. Yeah. So I think I think the, the, the spirit is there for them to do that, but I don't think. Mr. Johnson doesn't have the authority to do it. So, uh, I mean, technically, just to your point, I think if you could make it, if your friendly amendment was making that a contingent condition upon approval by his board, okay. But I, don't, but that is kind of messy because I don't know when they meet, and that's probably that's going to delay the public hearing that we've got. It's scheduled for council. Um, okay. Ultimately, council, if you had that condition, that contingency, council could not make a decision until your board, which typically meets the same night. Same night. And can we, it's, it's just complicated. I'm not discouraging. I'm just saying it's not could we, easy. Can we maybe change it to you? Can we recommend that they consider it uh, uh, that part of the zoning? Uh, not, not putting a requirement on it, and that not slow anything down. 